Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Natalie Nguyen. I'm one of the co-founders and the CEO of HyperAnna. So what is HyperAnna? Well, HyperAnna is an AI-powered data analyst. What that means is you would interact with Anna as you would with any other person. Um, you ask her a question in natural language, and she would do all the tedious work of writing codes, analyzing data, visualize that data, but most importantly, producing the insights to everything that comes with data analytics. Now, a very simple metaphor is think about Siri that sits on top of your company database and allows you to ask questions in simple language about the key drivers of your business. So let's jump into the demo. Okay, so for the demo today, I'm going to pick a supermarket data set. So hopefully we all go shopping, so you know, it's an example that everyone can relate to. So imagine if you are the store manager for this particular supermarket. Perhaps you actually want to ask a you know, fairly simple question, such as sales trend by department. Perfect. This data story covers total sales developments between December 2012 and December 2016. Using transaction date, by department we begin with key developments for some of the most important factors in department. In subsequent sections, we review factors that influence total sales. I'm going to stop Anna now, otherwise she will take over the session. But hopefully what you can see here is immediately Anna has come back with an answer. Now, for the chart at the top, of course you can interact with that and change it to a different type of chart if that's what you want. But the key differentiator about HyperAnna is the narrative or the insight that she produces. Now remember, our question was sales trend by department. So what you can see here is immediately Anna is now looking at sales for grocery, which is one of the departments in the supermarket. Very easily, I can see that grocery has been growing at 1.8%. Now, that number there has taken into account the seasonal effect of grocery as well. Once I scroll down, I can look at different departments here, such as produce was growing at 1.54%, versus meat that was growing slightly faster at 1.71%. And again, the key thing here is that it's so simple for a non-analytical user like myself to be able to really absorb the key insights. Once I keep scrolling down further, what I can see is beyond just a direct answer to my question, and that was sales trend by department, what Anna now starts showing is significant insight that is related to the question that I was looking at. So one of the key insights that Anna surfaced here today is we had a significant decline in uh, December 2016 and that was about 78% of total sales. Now, in our question, we didn't specifically ask Anna to compare November 2016 versus December 2016. But given we were really interested in the topic of sales trajectory, this is one of the key insights that Anna wants us to know about as well. One of the last insights that Anna wants to surface with this question is what are the key factors that actually influence total sales? And not surprisingly, in a supermarket setting, shoppers actually shop by price. Now, for the second question, I'm going to ask Anna something that is slightly more difficult for her. So my question here now is, who is my customers by department? OK, so there are two smarts here um, with this question. The first one is there is no column in the data set that is called customer. But Anna is smart enough to pick a customer-related attribute, and in this case, it's called household type, to actually showcase the result. The second thing here is her understanding about the intention of the question. Now imagine if you have asked a data analyst or a data scientist this question, what you would expect from this person is who is more likely to what? And that's exactly the story that Anna has produced here. Again, very quickly, I can see that household type of two adults with kids is a lot more likely to purchase nutrition, but they are a lot less likely to purchase seafood. Compare that to two adults 
with no kids in the household, they are a lot more likely to spend their money on seafood. Now for the third question, I'm going to ask Anna something that is slightly more tricky than this, something that is easier for an AI agent to get wrong. So in here, I'm going to ask Anna to look at day of week analysis for flour. Now in the supermarket, I have a department that is called floral, but I have an item that is called cauliflower. And the key takeaway here is for data analytics or for a smart AI agent in general, it is not about simple keyword matching, right? Because cauliflower and flower mathematically are a lot closer compared to floral. But when you talk to a person, you would expect them to take into the linguistic context of that as well. And that's exactly what Anna has done here, to pick floral as the department to look at and not cauliflower. Now, this is one way of interacting with Anna. You can email Anna or CC Anna in a conversation that you're having with your colleagues as well. And Anna can read through the content of that email and simply reply to the email thread with relevant insights. A lot of the time when we talk about data analytics platform, we think it takes months or years. This takes from three to five working days to get set up. We're currently servicing some of the largest institu financial institutions in Australia, and we have just started working with some banks in Hong Kong and Singapore as well. Thank you very much. <laughs>